Good day. Welcome to Sharfield Laman TYIE TV Saturday Live Stream Edition. <laughs> Kayo ay bago sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at mag-click ng bell button para sa mga notification updates. Ang topic natin sa araw na ito, ang grading system in the new normal education during the time of pandemic, time of COVID-19. to business. The topic natin yan is about the order number 31, so it's 2020, dated October 2, 2020, entitled Interim Guidelines for Assessment and Grading in Light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. <laughs> so, ano ang mga nilalaman nito? Ito pa loob sa interim policy guidelines for assessment and building in life of the basic education and the community plan. Magigita natin sa atmosphering at transpirational. So number one, the continuing threat of COVID-19 in the country and the world brings unprecedented challenges in basic education. So, Schools prepare for school to include it within the one church of some parents must adapt to alternative learning modalities to ensure that learners achieve essential curricular goals. But so, as it's stated in the order number 8, series 2016, the policy guidelines and personal assessment for the critical disability program, assessment should be used to inform and improve special practices and promote learning outcomes. However, in, in these times of blended learning environments, it is necessary to utilize alternative tools and strategies for assessing and supporting learning while avoiding creating undue pressure on the teachers, learners, and their families. So, ibig sabihin nito na yung Deputy of the a number 8, sir, city system, para yun, applicable yun, mosososyal during face-to-face instruction pero ngayon ay pandemic time, COVID-19 time. Mayroong alternative tools and strategies for assessing so, sa pag-regrade. So, ng part 2 ang scope. Anong nilalaman sa scope? If the order provides for the interim policy guidelines for assessment and grading in light of the basic education learning continuity plan. That will be implemented for both public elementary and secondary schools nationwide. So this is for the COVID-19 one. Sa mga yung dito yung sa mga private schools at sa kasa higher education. Part 3. Sa so part 3, naroon din tayong na-definition of terms. 
sa isahin natin. Letter A, ang classroom assessment. Ano daw ang classroom assessment? It is an ongoing process of identifying, gathering, organizing, and interpreting quantitative and qualitative information about what learners know and can do. So, yun yung mga nagawa ng mga bata natin sa loob ng classroom ay ipinakwantify at ipinakwalify. So, let it be formative assessment. Ano itong formative assessment? It is a process that involves teachers using evidence about what learners know and can do to inform and improve their teaching. So, meaning, Ginagamit ng ating mga guru ang evidence. Evidence that the learner ang ating mga bata ay natutok para malaman kung kailangan bang improve ang pagtuturo sa kanila. So, ang proseso na ito, this process to the teachers immediate feedback enables students to take responsibility for their own learning and identify areas where they do well and where they need help. So, ang konkretong halimbawa dito is that halimbawa, kung pumapasihan natin ang numerical figure, halimbawa, ang isang bata ay nakapag-grade lang ng 75. Meaning, medyo kulang yung outcome, yung output niya. Pero kung nakapag-grade na siya, nakatsig siya ng grade na talaga lang natin 90, Ibig sabihin doon, malapit na siya sa mastery. Ayan ang concrete ang halimbawa dito sa formative assessment. Sa summative assessment naman, ito is an assessment that is usually administered toward the end of a learning period. To measure the extent to which the learners have mastered essential learning competencies, the results of which are recorded and are reported are now used to report the learners at Sydney. So, sama ito ba si Sinan? Kaiba pa ito dun sa isa kanina yung formative assessment. Ito sabihin ito sa matin. Ito ay ina-administer o binibigay toward the end of the learning period. So, naalala natin na meron tayong first reading, second reading, third reading, and third fourth reading. So, pag tapos na yung period ng first reading, Nagbibigay tayo ng dati ng periodical test. So, yun ang summative assessment. Balikan natin ang formative assessment. Yun ang mga test na binibigay. Kunyari, pagkatapos ng isang lesson sa isang subject, sa isang araw dati. Yun ang formative assessment. Sa summative naman ay yung kabuuan sa isang quarter. Kailangan malaman natin yan. Yung part, yung number, a letter C. Ano ibig sabihin ng grading? Grading, yung pag-grado, pag-ibigay ng grade sa bata, is a way of reporting assessment data by assigning a value to the results as a record of students ability, achievement, or programs. This is embodied association for supervision and curriculum development service to the community. So, yung, pag, yung grading, yung grading or grado, pag-grado ng bata, isang paraan na makapag-report na no, may report na ito yung nagawa niya. Ito ang, ito ang nagawa niya. Ito ang naging improvement niya. So, yun. So, maliwanag tayo dito sa definition of terms. Kaya tayo. So, ito na ngayon. Ito na ipresento sa inyo yung mga weights. So, kaya na lang nato. Madalian lang. Table 1 weight. Distribution of the summative assessment components per learning area for grade 1 to grade 10. So, dito sa table, makikita natin assessment components. So, anong components yan? Mayroong written works, mayroong performance task. Written works, ano naman natin ito? Ito yung mga ginagawa nilang pag-a-answer sa mga lessons. So, nakapaloob ito sa languages. Anong languages? Ito ay English at saka Filipino. Mayroon so, panlipunan sa kayong ito sa pagkatao. Mayroon siyang pag-languages ha. 40% na written works. 
60% naman siya for 4 months last. So, kabuuan niya 100%. So, ang weight naman sa science sa ka-mathematics iba. 50% sa written work, 50% sa performance task. So, 50-50 sila. Kabuuan pa rin yan ay 100%. Nating naman sa MAPI, IPPFTLE. Ano itong MAPI? Ito yung Music Arts PE. IPP ay yung nag-gagardin. Yung TLE naman sa Industrial Education. So, ang written work naman is 30%. Performance task ay 70%. So, dapat alam natin ito mga ka-parents din para di tayo malito. malito. Itong second table lang nalang na natin itong kalagayan dahil iba ito sa high school. Hindi ka rin naman sa atin. Di tayo. Stage. So, Tribal 3, meron natin tayo, meron tayo nakikita dito ng halimbawa, sample computation of written works and performance tasks in languages, araling panlipunan, at tukas yung pagkatao from grade 1 to grade 10. So, dito sa table, makita natin sa written works ay napabilang 40%. So, mayroong highest possible score, at ito ang kuha ng learner aid ng isang bata. So, sa, sa, sa written works, mayroong first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, at fourth quarter. Ito yung ibig sabihin nito, 1, 2, 3, 4. May total siya ng isang possible score. May possible, ay isa, possible score at my weighted average so dito lang muna tayo sa written works so ang highest possible score is 20 sa first grading, 25 sa second grading 20 ulit Twenty ulit sa third grading, twenty ulit sa fourth grading. So may kabuan ng total na 85. Pasi, um, possible score is 100. So weighted average na is 40%. So, ang learner A, ang nakuha niya, ang kuha niya, ito lang. Sa first grading, 18. Sa second grading, 22. Sa third grading, 20. Sa fourth grading, 17. So, ang naging total niya, 77. Ang naging possible score niya is 91. Kaya, ang kanyang, Weighted average ay 36.4%. Okay. So, tulad tayo dito sa performance task, which composed 60%. So, ang mga possible, ang possible score is 16 for the first grading, 2 para second grading, 3 sa... Oh, third, uh, 25 sa third grading, 20 naman sa fourth grading. Possible score para lahat is 75. Ang wrong total na lahat ng points is 75, possible score is 100. So, ang weighted average niya is 60%. Ito na. Pero ang kuha ni learner A sa first grading sa performance has only 12 points, second grading 13 points, third grading 19 points, for giving 15 points, so naging total na is 56, of which 75%. So, kinuha doon sa alotin na 75 point possible score. Ang naging percentage na with the is 45%. So, ang kabuhan itong 40 at saka 60% ay 100. The cell grade. So, kung talagang 100 ang naging score niya, yung 100%, 100 Yes, 100% yung naging grade niya sa isang quarter, ay uh, sa apat na quarter. 
So, ang learner ay eh, nangyari dito sa written works. Within average niya sa written works is 36.4%. At saka yung sa 6, ay sa performance task is only 45%. At ang buwan is 81.4%. So, based on sa transmutation table, ang 81.4 niya na initial grade ay transmuted into 88%. So, ito yung final grade niya, 88%. So, ito, meron na yung sample dito sa math and science. Kung so, nalangin ito sa science yan, next page tayo. Sample computation din ito sa math and science for grade 1 to 10. Ito isa ay sample computation ng MAPI, EPP, TLA for grade 1 to grade 10. Uli. The next page. Sample computation in MAPI, TLA for grade 1 to 10. So, sabi dito, the transmutation table which is in appendix B in the number 8 shall be still be used in this grading system. So, the guidelines and learners progress support as well as the promotion of tension shall like us follow the provision cited in the said policy. Ibig sabihin, yung ating grading system as well as ay yun pa rin yung napaloob sa Deputy Order No. 8, Sales and Fitness Team. Kaya lang, ay nabago yung distribution of percentage so nakita natin kanina. So, itong part ay meron role of technology. Nasabi rito na ang technology plays a substantial role in helping teachers in the development, communication, implementation, grading of assessment tasks, a matrix of sample tools organized by low, medium, and high technologies provided in LXP. So, ibig sabihin na malaki pa rin ang may tutulong ng technology ay yung kaalaman sa computer para sa ating mga kaguruan. Ayan tayo. So, ito ngayon. Ang ating kasing piniling type of distance learning is digital or or printed modular learning. So, dito, ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ang mga kategorya kung ano yung mga uh, pagbabasihan ng grado base doon sa napiling um, learning modality. So, ito ay ang sakop nito ay digital, printed, TV-based, narrative, and homeschooling. So tayo, nasa modular mo tayo, printed modular, so ito ang magiging basis natin sa pag-assess. So, sa anong learning area? Sa languages, so Filipino and English. Sa written output, ang pagbabasahan natin sa assessment ay yung mga book, article reviews, yung mga essay nila, yung mga journal na ginawa, yung mga letter writing, mga reaction papers, reports. Ano ang produkto? Ang produkto nila, campaigns, case studies, collabs, composition, literary analysis, multimedia productions, portfolios, research projects, story, poem, and writing. So, uh, this involves mga pagsusulat ng bata. So, yan ang written outputs. The performance task naman, kung nagapaggawa silang interview, Pagkawa silang multimedia presentation sa computer din sa project making. So, yun ang performance task. Sa mathematics, ano yung written work? So, data recording and analysis. Nag-answer yun. Nag-answer sila ng mga equation. Limitric and statistical analysis. Graphics, charts or maps. Problem sets. Yan, problem solving. Then, Di uh, di uh, diagrams, mathematical investigatory projects, models, making models, geometric figures, then number. So, ano yung performance task? Construction of graphs and essay, multimedia presentation, outdoor, math, 
and probability para mas ano ko sa high school next page tayo so bumalik lang halos pareho ang laman sa science na learning area, ang mga written output ay concept maps, data recording analysis, laboratory reports and documentations, reaction or reflection papers, then mga surveys. Anong product yung mga investigatory projects, models and diagrams, prototype building research papers. Ang mga performance tests naman ay Designing and implementation of action plans, designing various models, doing scientific investigations, issue awareness campaign, laboratory activities, multimedia presentations, simulations, skills demonstration, then verification of experiments. So, yun ang mga performance tasks na gawain. Exchange tayo. Araling panlipunan. Iba naman, concept map, essay, sa uh, written works ito, journals, news writing, reaction or reflection paper. So, yung mga products niya, collages, leaflets, posters, maps, research work, timelines, film documentation. So, performance task, so community involvement, making interviews, issue awareness campaign, news reporting, presentation, simulation. Sa music, iba pa. Output niya, mga essays, mga reaction paper, search paper. Output niya, musical arrangement. So, kung nakakapaggawa tayo ng musical arrangement, pag-compose ng kanta, awit. Musical songs, musical research, writing notes. Ang performance test, multimedia presentation. So, nag-report siya. Musical presentation, nag-aawit na may gitara. Skills demonstration. Next page sila tayo. Music art. Sa art, iba naman. So, essay, reaction, paper, research paper. So, may art exhibit siya sa product, portfolio, and art projects. Sa performance task, art, production, multimedia presentation, sketch demonstration, coloring, painting. Physical education, iba pa. Action paper din. Then, article journal review. Then, mga personal exercises. Experience tayo. So, sa health, iba naman sa health. So, journal, article, action paper. Pagdating sa performance task, personalized fitness health program, issue awareness campaign. Sa ISP, iba pa rin. Mag-i-essay, mag-journal writing, reaction paper. Sa so, performance task, issue awareness, presentations, situation analysis. Next page ulit. Pag-i-stage natin, edukasyon, pagkatao, tapos nga, dito tayo sa PAAPP. So, kung sa written works, isay, diagram, work designs. Dating sa output, technical drawing, products, using locally available materials. Sa performance test, skills demonstration, oral test, design, diagnosis, and repair damage equipment. So, yun, mga ka-parents, ito ang magiging kabuuan ng mga pagbabasihan ng grading system natin itong new normal. So, kung gusto nyo malaman ang kabuuan ng memorandum na ito, maaari kayo mag-visit sa deped.gov.ph portal at doon malalangon nyo ang memorandum na ito. Kung meron kayong mga katanungan, uh, you can just comment on the you can just text on the comment box of our live presentation or pwede kayo mag-comment sa ating Facebook page kaya aantayin ko ang inyong mga ideas, mga katanungan para mabigyan natin ng kasagutan
Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig sa ating discussion, sa ating presentation ng Lipidorder 31 Series 2020 about the grading system and the new moon. Thank you.